My 27F husband 27M not picking up the pregnancy test I requested might be my breaking point. What do you think? TLDR. I put a pregnancy test on the grocery list and my husband didn't buy it because he determined it wasn't necessary. Reality check. Is it obvious that a pregnancy test is an important and urgent grocery item? My husband is in charge of grocery shopping. Last time I put a pregnancy test on the list because I'm seven days late. We just had our second in January, so it's unlikely, but I'm very anxious, in part because I had two preemies and would immediately want to consult with my OBGYN on how to keep this baby in as long as possible. He knows all this. Of course I could run out and get a pregnancy test myself, but with a small baby and toddler that's not too much fun. I'm inclined to ask my sister, 25F, to pick one up after work, she's our neighbor, but I'm dreading his reaction. From past experience, I'm convinced he'll see it as me punishing him by involving my sister in something private to us. Also, in part it's also about what it stands for for me, another in a long list of instances where my and the kid's needs for care and consideration are not met, especially because he didn't check back with me, calling me from the store or something, but just single-handedly determined that my peace of mind wasn't worth a few bucks and minutes of finding it. I'm assuming he's subconsciously avoiding the anxiety of a potential pregnancy and doesn't want to know, but it's just hard being dependent on someone to a certain extent when things like this happen. Am I expecting too much by not wanting to ask and explain myself several times for him to respond to my requests? What are your views on me feeling it would be way less emotionally taxing to set our lives up in a way where I depended on him as little as possible? Thank you so much. Update. I took two negative tests and got light bleeding just now. After I explained, in depth, he was really sweet, surprised me with some garden supplies I contemplated getting and generally tried to be kind. Because so many people are asking, at my OBGYN's recommendation we are using condoms, but they are not fail-proof and I'd like to be on top of things. Further, some more context. The long list of instances I've been referring to in my original post. I have dragged him to couples therapy, had him try three different therapists, started couples therapy workbooks with him, none of them he was comfortable with. Basically he's dying on the hill of. None of the therapists around here are qualified enough for my standards and we have good stretches. Any bad stretch will pass. He did not tell his side of the family about my second pregnancy until the baby was born, basically because the time never felt right. When he deemed a grocery item unhealthy, he wouldn't pick it up and edit my pickup orders. He has hidden candy I've been gifted and non-organic baking ingredients in his closet, especially when I'm pregnant. At the same time he struggles to eat the food I'm making and eats a lot of Nutella sandwiches and ice cream, trying to hide it from toddler and instead not offering any snack to toddler. He thinks he is gluten intolerant and me cooking with any gluten is always a huge source of stress for him for fear of contamination. I'm doing all the cleaning, cooking, gardening and laundry, he runs errands and is in charge of the dog. I'm a psalm and he's working half days right now, possible because I inherited the house. In my mind I'm running around all day while he struggles to pull his weight. We've had several stretches where I'd notice that he doesn't say I love you back. When I inquired it was something like he didn't like my new glasses and wants to find his partner pretty. Therefore he struggles to feel love. I got different glasses and he was exuberant. In general, my need for affirmation is not met and I have communicated and am modeling that. He got a new Tesla when baby number two was on her way because we needed more room. Now he wants no dog hair in that car. So we're yet to use the car for its intended purpose. Fitting the entire family and every purchase I want to make is a discussion. For instance, when our vacuum cleaner broke he got one use that really didn't work well and it was several exhausting discussions until I got a proper one. He had falling outs with several of my girlfriends and doesn't want them to visit when he is here. He can't sleep in the same room with us, so since our first was born I'm sleeping alone with the kids, managing a baby and toddler all night. He does not have the patience and gets really angry when for instance attempting to do toddler's bedtime routine, so that's all on me as well. He often goes to bed early and then has the nerve to complain if I'm making noise finishing dinner cleanup etc. He thinks he has a fragrance allergy, so I'm really limited in the products I can use, let alone make the house or myself smell nice for my own enjoyment. Recently, the dog had diarrhea all over the carpet, but he didn't want to rent a proper carpet cleaner for fear of the solution's potential smell, so I had to figure out a fragrancy freeway to clean it by hand. He's had a nail fungus on his left hand for years and I kept reminding him to make a doctor's appointment and then I had to beg him to, to take his meds because he was afraid of the side effects until finally the baby and I got thrush and he relented. He is the kind of person that forgets to replace empty toilet paper, struggles to remember to use a toilet brush, leaves dirty dishes everywhere etc. When I was on bed rest for both babies it took a lot of asking and continues reminding for him to do the things I usually do and I felt exhausted. When I had our first, he didn't want to stay at the hospital, didn't want to come to the first round of induction because he was tired and after baby was born, opened the window and left it open all night. After a nurse with a laundry detergent smell he didn't like came in to check on us. Baby had lowered body temperature then in the morning and the nurses were really concerned. I was too exhausted from birth to catch that then. For some reason he was really sad on our wedding day, he says he was triggered from taking pictures, because his mom would always force him to take pictures, but that doesn't sound quite right to me. I've been asked for the reasons I do stay a few times. Mainly, I'm afraid he'll struggle to adequately take care of the kids on his own with split custody like changing diapers on time, feeding them often enough and nutritiously, dressing them for the weather etc. The things he does do I would then have to do myself. I wonder whether that is worth it. We are great friends. I should have known it would be like this when he never learned to replace toilet paper rolls. It's my own fault.